here we go. We are hopefully, weather permitting, going to head out across Full Bay through the Needles, um, down the western end of the Solent into Ocean Village, Southampton Water. back up to speed, blast past Hearst Castle and head into the Solent. Just about to turn into Southampton Water. Here we go, so we're now uh, approaching sort of the ocean village end of Southampton Water. I thought we'd stop and show you this quite large, as we said, container ship. So we are now successfully moored in Ocean Village, just behind the uh, Harbour Hotel over there. So we might pop in for a spot of lunch or a manicure. Interesting trip. Salem was pretty calm. The needles was pretty horrendous, to be fair, but the wind was against the tide, which we kind of expected. We're all tied up, we're springed up, power's plugged on. So we'll go for a wander around. Here we go, we are heading from Ocean Village, hopefully to Lymington. It's a bit breezy, it's gusting sort of 15 to 30 knots. But we're trying to catch the 2.30 tide, so the wind and the tide will be with us as we go down the Western Solent. See how we go.
I've uh, followed another container ship out. Now even though it's quite windy out here, because we're going with the wind, and the wind is going with the tide which is going with us, it's actually not too bad. It's a massive bow wave. Here you go, so we are now safely moored at Lymington Yacht Haven. It was quite an incredibly easy journey. There was a bit of a running swell, in all fairness. But uh, yeah, it was, it was way, way better than I expected. Just a bit of a gust getting onto the, onto the mooring. But here we are at Lymington Yacht Haven. And hopefully, weather permitting, tomorrow we will press on back to Poole, back home. So we've just left Limington Yacht Haven. As you can see, just over there. And we are following the red and green markers out the Limington Channel. And then we will head towards Hurst Castle, Hurst Narrows, past Needles, across Christchurch, or Paul Bay, I think it's actually called, uh, back into Cobbsky, hopefully. Everything being equal. I had a, a warning light on this morning in here, but luckily it was just to top up the water level. Look at the geese there. Here you go, we are now up to speed. Just got 19 knots and about 20. 700 RPM, heading off towards Hurst Castle. Bye. 
There's the famous Sandbanks Ferry. Goes from over there all the way to over there. I think it's five quid each way, so it's probably the most expensive ferry crossing in the world per mile. somebody who, who's doing 10 knots because you're allowed to, irrespective of the scale of their wash. All those. Okay, we're now sort of in the inner harbour. A rather pleasant motor yacht over there, Phoenix. It's the Paul Seafood Festival as well, so there's lots of little tents and wigwams on the quay. to go and get some fuel and top back up for what we've spent or what we've burnt on this trip. And this for the sake of it is the brand new Sunseeker 100. I think this is the first one out of the tin. It's a bit of a beast. Anyway we are just waiting for the bridge. Cheers. Over there. Just taking on a drop of fuel over there. Everyone who's watched my videos will have seen loads of these, but this is Sun Seeker Factory here in Paul. So this is the old town bridge which has been around well for a long, 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 long time and occasionally goes wrong. But today we're lucky and it's working. is the bridge basin where we have to wait for the second bridge, the Twin Cells Bridge to open. But I'm just going to pick up the mooring point over here. And this is going through the Twin Cells Bridge. <laughs> 